Welcome back to the Inside Post Challenge on the road to the Triple Crown, sponsored by Adequan. We're live at the Kentucky Derby Post Draw, three days out. Hi everyone, I'm Ed DeRosa, live from the Secretariat Lounge at Churchill Downs, where the Kentucky Derby draw just take, took place. 20 and 22 entrants, 20 in the gate, arch, arch, arch through the dreaded rail post position. I have to say, as far as drama goes at a post position draw, usually it's just a pill pool, but having that rail out there until the very last thing, Conspiracy theorists might even say it was by design, but there was a palatable tension in the room waiting to see who would get that dreaded post position. Arch 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 was going to be my pick to win the Kentucky Derby, but a lot of pundits already saying it's impossible to win from that position. We'll be on the backside the rest of the week to get reaction. The immediate reaction from trainer Jinx Fire says, when it comes to the Derby, you need the trip anyway. The rail makes it a little tougher, but if John Court does his job, he still feels they can win. That's good enough for me, so I'm going to stick with Arch Arch Arch. 10 to 1's great value in a wide open year. I love the Arkansas Derby as a prep. I love that he's had three races. I love that he's a stakes winner at two. I'm not going to let this get me off him. Uncle Mo drew post 18. We were halfway through before he got post 18, so some concern about him getting the rail. But if he's in the gate, he'll be the second choice at 9 to 2. Favored dialed in number 8. That's the post that Barbaro and Mind That Bird had when they won the Derby. So Nick Zito has to be feeling pretty good. But I'm still feeling pretty good about Arch 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 in the rail, Kentucky Derby. Thank you.